Hi, and welcome to the Westchester County Virtual FAM Tour. We'll get started in just one more minute as we allow for more attendees to join. Thank you for your patience. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Westchester County Virtual FAM Tour. My name is Laura Burning, and I'm a Senior Manager here at the New York State Governor's Office of Motion Picture and Television Development. We are so pleased to have the Westchester County Film Team uh, with us today to talk about all things Westchester, just north of New York City. Before we, be, we begin the tour, I wanna to mention just a few things about the Zoom today. We want you to know that at the end of the presentation, Natasha will be taking questions through the Q&A box located at the bottom center of the Zoom screen. Please do not submit questions in the chat box. The chat box, you'll find uh, all kinds of important links. So if you'd like to reach, us, uh, reach out to any of us after the event today, our office and the Westchester County Film Office emails and contact information is there as well. So before we get to the main event, I want to introduce Yoni Boxer, the Executive Director here at the State Film Office. Yoni, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, uh, Laura, for that great introduction and for all the work you have done as well as the whole team in organizing these tours. Um, and thank you all for joining us here today for a tour of Westchester County. I'm so excited for this presentation, and I'm so excited to see so many friendly names from across the state and really across the world um, in the, the participant view. I know you all can't see each other, but, but we see you there, and, and we're excited to see you. Um, as Laura mentioned, my name is Joni Boxer. I oversee the Governor's Office of Motion Picture and Television Development. Governor Hochul has made it a clear that film and TV industry continues to be a priority in New York State. Under her leadership and the leadership of Commissioner Hope Knight at Empire State Development, we're working hard to support film and TV production to the state. As you know, New York has world-class talent and crew and unique locations and very competitive tax credit programs. We're all obviously aware of the labor issues that have led to a decrease in production. The governor put out a recent statement uh, explaining how pleased we are to see that the WGA and the AMPTP have reached an agreement to end the writer's strike tentatively. And as SAG-AFTRA strike continues, we hope that all parties can move quickly towards a final agreement that gets New Yorkers and all the small businesses back to work. Um, the governor and Commissioner Wright have led the expansion enhancement of the film tax credit program to ensure that New York remains competitive in attracting film production. I'll give you a couple of highlights. More information, of course, is available on our website, and of course, we'll answer additional questions directly. Um, New York has new requirements for productions to create and implement diversity hiring goals and diversity plans, both for direct employees on the productions as well as vendors that are hired. This is very exciting. It went into effect January 1st, and more information is available on our website. This is crucial to making sure that the folks that are hired on projects are representative of all New Yorkers and makes us competitive in attracting jobs. Uh, this past spring, the film tax credit was extended for five years through 2034. Annual allocation was increased from 420 million to 700 million. And the base credit for all eligible productions throughout the state was increased from 25% back to 30%. Includes new eligibility with double caps for above the line categories such as writers, directors, and some producers. And further, there's still an additional 10% bump for filming in certain upstate counties. That means if you choose to find one of the great sound stages in Westchester County and you go north for some day shoots, you'll have additional bonuses on those costs. As the Governor's Office of Film and TV Production, we support and attract film production to the state. We wouldn't be able to do it 
without any of our partners throughout government, both in state government and in local government. Our office serves as a liaison between New York State and the film and TV industry. And as we work to attract film production to the state, we rely on key partners like Westchester County, Natasha as Director of Tourism and Film, and Barry as Deputy Director, and Lisa and Wendy, who work with them as well, are true gems. When we talk about film productions coming to New York and we talk to studio executives and producers, we are lucky that we get to tell them about the great people they'll find on the ground in Westchester, how easy it is to work with Westchester, and that if you need something, Natasha and Barry will be there. County Executive Latimer's great team and his great leadership have been true champions of Filmin. And I know from an event where he spoke this spring, it's really a, a, a key priority of his. And just like New York State as a whole, Westchester is home to great towns and cities, from Yonkers and White Plains to New Rochelle. And we have professional workforce development programs and state-of-the-art facilities, from Haven Studios to Grant Point Media's Lionsgate Studios, which is expanding, and the recently announced Electric Owl Studios planned for Hudson on Haston. The state is investing over a million dollars which is being leveraged into a multi-hundred million dollar project. Um, we're so excited for this tour. Um, and without further ado, I'll turn it over to Natasha, who I know will do a deep dive into all the assets that make Westchester County the great place for you to bring your next film project. Thank you, Yoni. Hello, everyone. And um, I just have to give a very big shout out before we start to Yoni and Laura and the entire team at New York State Film and the governor's office. We depend on them and we appreciate the partnership. So hello, everyone. I am here um, to be your tour guide and go through a virtual fam of Westchester County. Westchester has deep roots in film. From, si from the silent film era, over a hundred years ago, the Than Houser Film Company was here in New Rochelle producing thousands of films that were distributed across the globe. Today, Westchester County is experiencing a lot of major film activity. The industry $1 billion of economic activity and 3,784 jobs. For the next few minutes, I will share why Westchester is so attractive for filming, provide an overview of all that we have to offer, and looking forward to working with you soon. Here's a quick look at our amazing asset. This is just a sampling, and we encourage you to visit for more on visitwestchesterny.com backslash film. So the video was a quick overview of what we have to offer. Locations that can stand in for any time and almost anywhere in the world, from rural farms, quaint river towns to urban landscapes, Westchester has a huge diversity of locations. Just minutes away, bordering New York City, Westchester is easy, and accessible to get around. We have many locations in the zone. Westchester offers economic benefits too. Productions based in the city can work in Westchester for the day. And right outside of the zone, we have rural areas, large estates, rolling hills that can be shot in cities like Peekskill and Bedford. We are home to a big, group of qualified production facilities and post-production facilities, ranging in size and capabilities from smaller studios to large warehouses. We have eight qualified production facilities. We've heard Yoni mentioned some, Haven Studios in Mount Vernon to Alexander Smith Carpet Mills in Yonkers, the Westchester Marriott Hotel, plus our newest partner, Great Point Studios, home to Lionsgate in Yonkers, and on track to be the largest studio in the Northeast, is transforming and further establishing Westchester as a center for filming. Excited about our new venture and studio, Electric Owl, um, expected to close a property site in Hastings later this year. 
You can see we have huge investments in Westchester. We invite you to do more business here with us in the county. Film friendly. I can't say myself and Barry Sermon, who's not here uh, today, he is on grand jury duty uh, and available to do any follow up questions and answer and support you all. But um, we work with a very robust film community here throughout Westchester County uh, that, in addition, are extensive cast, crew, and related services for productions. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, from featuring you know, from really servicing our feature films, our episodics, commercials, music videos, photo shoots, we are here for you. And in 2023, award-winning productions shot here. Over six episodic series were nominated and earned 56 Emmy nominations. That's huge, and we're here to celebrate that with you. We make it easy. We're proactive, we're hands-on, we build practical online tools to help you search and streamline the film permit process. Westchester County is a diverse destination with various cities, hamlets, towns, and villages. And we work with you and our municipality partners to make it easy. We want to be film friendly and we believe that your success is our success. We recommend ideas, we answer your questions. And it's easy to move around in Westchester County. Uh, we have a lot of success with our episodic uh, different shoots that fill multiple locations in one day. Instead of navigating a busy, uh, crowded city street, we have space here that is very helpful for you in a lot of the episodics that are turning around episodes, you know, every nine to 10 days, we understand that. Uh, right behind me, you'll see, we have the blacklist, city on a hill, FBI most wanted. Um, so, and it really is also beyond our, beyond our locations, I want to say, we have a tremendous amount of support. And I keep saying this because it's important that we act and we believe that we're an extension of your team. Uh, in addition to making connections with a multitude of vendors, makeup artists, equipment rental, uh, marketing, post-production, prop shops, that's what we want to be able to assist you with to make it easy. We have action camera cars, wings, our um, helicopters right here in Westchester County Airport for specialty shoots and other small businesses throughout all of our different areas in Westchester County willing and wanting to work with you. In addition, we have a dedicated marketing team, Lisa and Wendy that Yoni mentioned earlier. They're here to help promote what you're doing here in Westchester County. Why? It really helps to place us. It helps to build local pride, support, and recognition for the amount of activity and contribution that the film industry has and does here. So I can't stress enough that we believe that we're a true partner with you. At this point, we're gonna do a little inside look. Um, I do tourism and film. So as I said, I uh, am going to act as your tour, tour guide to take a little deeper dive into our locations and why they, what they offer to you uh, and what you do day to day. We're gonna start with the Westchester County Airport. 30 miles north of New York City, serves domestic, global destinations and business aviation. And that means that we have hangars, runway, terminal areas, all available for film activity. Uh, just a little sampling here, our hugely popular succession films multiple scenes and seasons, as well as Madam Secretary at County Airport. Our Westchester County Parks, 18,000 Miles of parkland with different terrain, wooded areas, winding trails, scenic lakes, waterfalls, plenty of space for truck equipment and base camps. Um, one of my favorites, which I probably got, uh, you know, just such a thrill at Croton Gorge Park. We had Sesame Street, um, which was just really fabulous. Um, Untemeyer has been London and Crowded Room. Tibbetts Brook Park hosted a music video and marching bands. V.E. Macy had transformed itself with the Irishman Playland Amusement Park. Um, we really, here you could go the extra mile. We have quite a bit. Rockefeller State Park, one also another big of my favorite, had real elephants for a scene for the Blacklist. And this here, myself, Barry, our team helped facilitate that with the multiple entities and partners to make that happen. In addition, Westchester's location is unique. We're bordered by the Hudson River, the Long Island Sound. 
means that we offer rocky coasts, sandy shorelines, marines, inlets, boardwalks, piers, recreation areas. In New Rochelle, for example, was subbed for New England coastland in City on the Hill. In Ben is Back, starring Julia Roberts, filmed at the Mamaroneck Beach and Yacht Club, as well as Playland Boardwalk in Big, who could, uh, it's a memorable scene. Uh, commercials film here, Montefiore Health most recently, our shoreline, which stood in for Connecticut. And our mansions in historic sites. Wow, do we have very elegant mansions and historic homes with grand architecture, expansive space, lavish amenities for period pieces or contemporary stories. Again, room, a lot of room for space, uh, for base camp, parking, large equipment, HBO's Gilded Age filmed at the Gothic Mansion in Lindhurst and on property. Lindhurst sits on 67 acres overlooking the Hudson and has 12 buildings. The Belvedere Estate in Terrytown, 1920s French style mansion on 25 acres, featured in HBO's White House Plumbers. Jay Heritage Center hosted Apple TV's Dickinson's for multiple seasons. Paul stood, um, used Alder Manor to stand in for Versailles, and also additional unique properties like Greystone on Hudson and the Octagon House in Irvington, which the Octagon House was a, is a recent topic of a New York Times bestseller. If you haven't read that book review in the New York Times. Alrighty, we're going to move on. Uh, next stop on our tour is academic campuses, uh, our higher education institutions with over a dozen campuses and satellite locations offering a wide array of looks, including urban brick plazas, a modern art, gothic uh, more castles on site, versatile space, many in the zone. Again, we have space, room for base camp parking. Uh, libraries can serve as cigar bars. Administrative buildings have been you know, transformed into FBI headquarters. And I'm just going to mention a few. Pace University served as a backdrop for Netflix series starring Brie Larson and feature film Inside Lou Ben Davis. It was also used as a base camp for The Traveler's Wife. Iona University's President's Home uh, scenes were shot there for The Post and several other episodic shows, including FBI Most Wanted. Purchase College has a beautiful performing art spaces and it was used as a concert in the Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson Marry Me. And also very interesting and well done, a, a complete big clearing on, on that campus was transformed into a Vietnam era army base for the post. Westchester Community College accommodates many episodics, um, including FBI Most Wanted with a killer drone on the loose and the use of local uh, different partnerships with our police departments. Next stop, government and courthouses. So we do receive a lot of requests for our correctional facilities. I want to say since COVID, it is on a base by base, uh, case by case basis, uh, including the courthouse. But we will work with you and we encourage you to continue reaching out uh, so we can scout those areas. White Plains uh, frequently serves as a stand-in for Washington, D.C., and where my office, our offices are at the Michelin office building in White Plains, is Art Deco finishes and delivers uh, a lot of practicality and aesthetics. Um, we did a lot with Tommy and the police drama, which was really in Los Angeles, but was shot here in White Plains. Um, everything from using several stories high cranes to illuminate certain floors that mimic daylight and putting palm trees outside. Uh, for City on the Hill, we flew Boston flags right here in White Plains and Westchester. FBI Most Wanted in Succession and many others use the hallways, our offices, our elevators, and we are open for all of your film activity. Tourism uh, and our tourism partners, including our hotels, are a one-stop shop for all amenities that production require from rooms to food, ample parking lots, vans. They understand and meet your needs. We are in the business of hospitality and service. And I uh, have, you know, really can't say enough about, for example, the Westchester Marriott Hotel has qualified production facility for their large ballroom and are very open and have done quite a bit of different filming there. Edith Macy Conference Center uh, was a backdrop for the Gilded Age. Hotel MTK in Mount Kisco hosted filming and crew stays for Pete Davidson's Bodies, 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 and so much more. 
There is a link on our website, which is visitwestchesterny.com, again, backslash film, where you can easily search our hotels, different areas, conference centers for filming, casting, crew, lodging. In addition, uh, I just need to mention our restaurant and our culinary scene, which is not, I mean, is just award-winning. And from corner bistros to four-star restaurants, the county has many different dining options. And it's fall and I, it's tis the season. I hope you all come and enjoy our, our farms, but we have several farms that offer authentic experience with live animals and barns while also providing space for your crews, set up tents and accommodate all of your equipment. Muscu is a county park and working with farm animals and historic buildings. The feature film Morning Glory and HBO's Orange is the New Black, it's just examples that have filmed Hilltop Hanover in Yorktown, also a county park, is very film friendly with rolling hills and views. Harvest Moon Farm and Orchard has orchards, animals, amazing panoramic views, hosted Sesame Street. Elmo goes to the farm. And Sundial in Yorktown is a classic farm built in 1780 with antique barns um, and American gangster film there. So Many, those are the justice sampling, and we would love to uh, share with you any additional information uh, that we have on our farms or that you may need. As I mentioned, Westchester County is very diverse with its communities and all film friendly, uh, really, that we work hand in hand to partner to make sure that it's a seamless experience here for you in Westchester County, from our quaint river towns to their charming villages, storefronts, contemporary suburbans, um, and urban centers. Uh, this is just a couple of shots. We have Hastings on the Hudson with a very vintage look, a small town feel, picturesque village that boasts views of the George Washington Bridge and the Manhattan skyline, an artsy downtown with independent shops and charming restaurants and buildings. It hosted feature film, It's Complicated. Sarah Jessica Parker uses storefront in Hastings as her art gallery and HBO's Divorce. And Amazon's Modern Love showed river views in the background for scenes with Andy Garcia and Catherine Keener. Girl on the Train used multiple different uh, river towns as well as our train stations. Westchester County has three Metro North rail lines coming out of Grand Central and 40 plus different train stations. Um, in addition to all of our commercial areas uh, along our river towns. Tuckahoe is another great example uh, with a small town feel, but very two distinct downtown areas that has uh, way back when was the fictional setting for Maud and more recently has been the backdrop for Posey, Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt, The Watcher, um, and many more. City on the Hill had actually taken over one of our parks in Main Street and a lot of activity again in the zone. White Plains, we mentioned, I just have to stress the diversity here in of White Plains, it's urban la landscapes and city views. A lot of it's been DC or Boston. It has a very different variety of architectural buildings from modern to, believe it or not, pre-revolutionary war, school settings where Ms. Uh, Maisel, Netflix's show was there, park streets, homes, businesses, all in the zone. Um, the city of White Plains has a dedicated film person we work with, uh, very willing to get a lot done, including car chases and explosions. Our next stop will be our performing art spaces and historic theaters and art houses um, that serve as film locations. The Capitol Theater, uh, which is legendary historic rock venue in Fort Chester with very diverse spaces, grand balconies and grand staircases, state-of-the-art concert space, lounge space, and dressing rooms has uh, is open for film activity and has been used for Tales of the City and other different episodics. I, I also want to mention Paramount in Peekskill, Terrytown Music Hall, Purchase Performing Arts, Jacob Burns, Bedford Playhouse, The Picture House, all have very friendly and open auditorium spaces. Westchester has its claim as the birthplace of golf, and we have a very thriving golf scene here in Westchester. Several of our courses are film friendly. Many of the private clubs are open. Old Oaks Country Club and Purchase, which was built in 1925, um, has worked with White House Plumbers. And uh, Waikiki Country Club in New Rochelle was for the late, last season of 
Mrs. Maisel. Sleepy Hollow Country Club is another popular location. And in addition to the golf course, also features grand mansions and other properties right there on their space um, that it's been used for Madam Secretary, uh, peace talks between Israel and Iran. It could really act as a very uh, excellent backdrop for you and the greatest showman as well as to 30 Rock. So big, di lots of diversity and opportunity at Sleepy Hell Country Club, as well as Westchester Country Club and many more. Our homes, I've mentioned the diversity of Westchester. Uh, we are a big county and um, we also have, with that said, we have diverse housing stock from modern to luxury, contemporary, you know, suburban styles. We've talked about our waterfronts. Uh, waterfront mansions on historic Hudson side, as well as the Sound Shore, smaller homes, homes that haven't been renovated, you know, perfect for period shots, as well as neighborhoods. And so there is a huge inventory available for film production. Um, Barry and myself, too, have an ongoing list that we work with the scouts and try to identify different if you are in need of that. Um, so, and, and, you know, we can act as anything. Most, most recently, like the, the Watcher was set in New Jersey, but really filmed here. And they, that worked well for them because they had multiple locations throughout Westchester County. So I have just given a lot of information to you all. And I think at this point, I want to share a couple of testimonials. One is Lori Pickus, which was, who is a location manager at HBO for the Gilded Age. And she can't say, she's just great saying of why location managers um, come to Westchester and just some of her personal insights. The most important thing that we deal with in the film business is the ability to pivot and to be able to make decisions quickly. And what's great about Westchester is there's a number of locations that have dealt with film crews before and it's almost a turnkey operation at this point. We can reach out to them and they really understand that what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis when we come here to film. What's helpful about the film office is there's a coordination between agencies. It's one phone call and you can right away get the number of the people at the municipality where you're trying to shoot and usually with one or two phone calls get everybody on board and organize um, something fairly quickly. Thank you, Lori. And now it's my pleasure. I, I also want to share one more, uh, and that's um, about locations and locations overview. And this is Scott Ferguson, who's executive producer for Succession, sums up, I, does a good way of summing up here filming and what we have to offer in Westchester. Shooting in Westchester is great because it has great locations with a huge variety. A lot of times, you know, you'll want to tell a story that might be set in New York and somewhere else. And Westchester would be one of the first places I look for a convincing somewhere else. It has a great diversity and great range of locations. You know, uh, we doubled Manchester, uh, England in Yonkers. We shot official Washington in downtown White Plains. And of course you have these gorgeous uh, stately homes uh, in places uh, like uh, Bedford and uh, Pound Ridge and Katona and uh, lots of great nature and uh, a variety of uh, different things in that whole spectrum. It's often one of the first places we look when we uh, don't think we can find it in the five boroughs because uh, it's so convenient and nearby. You feel like you've gone somewhere when you come up here, but it's not that far. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. So, and thank you all for your time. I, on, on last slide, I just want to say we're really hands-on. We uh, want to work with you. We invite you to come to Westchester online on our website, which is visitwestchesterny.com. Um, we also are on Facebook. We have quite a bit on uh, videos as well as some other um, assets for you, including a Flickr image gallery. We do quarterly newsletters. So I would love to have you all receive that. Let us know if we, you would like to be signed up. I know my contact information is going in the chat with Barry's as well. Join us on social and I, we want to hear from you. What If there's anything that you may need to make your um, business easier, working here in Westchester and ideas and um, let's just keep this going. I really appreciate the time. I am going to take some questions. I believe we're going to open it up and I can't say enough. Thank you. And I look forward to working with you real soon in Westchester County.
Great. Thank you so much, Natasha. Yes, indeed. We do have some questions. Um, I just want to encourage anyone that does have a question, please uh, put it in the Q&A box uh, down in the, uh, the middle of your Zoom screen at the bottom. So the first question, um, actually, Natasha, is about some of the homes that you talked about. Uh, some of those are county owned, some of those are privately owned. Does your office list res residential uh, homes in your locations directory? That is a great question. Um, we have the database set up with their approval. They've given us information on their home that we can share with the scouts as inquiries come in. To date, we do not list everyone's homes. There's a concern just for privacy and at giving that address available you know, on a public website. But we do have, um, Barry's done an excellent job of pulling together also photography for each one of the homes that have offered up and are you know, open to film activity. Great, Anything? thank you, Natasha. Uh, the next question is, does the county still operate Rye Playland, the boardwalk, amusement park, and pool? That is a great question. Uh, the county has entered into an agreement, a management agreement with Standard Amusement that is managing Playland Amusement Park, the boardwalk, and the beach. Uh, with that said, similar to how we work with you all in at the airport or other third-party agreements, we do uh, issue and want to work, make sure that you're getting what you need with that um, location as well as answer and, and kind of facilitate those conversations. Uh, Playland is open for film activity. We had some recent shoots a uh, couple of months back. So I'm happy to work with anyone who's interested uh, and make connections with the new team at Standard Amusement. Great, thank you. Next question. How long does it take to approve a permit for filming on county properties? And what does that process uh, look like? Sure, thank you. So on our website, we have an intake form and I encourage everyone who is thinking, looking, interested um, in Westchester County to send us a little bit of information so we can help you through the process here in the county. We do permit county owned properties. Um, and we like to say we could do it quickly, depending on the size and scope. Sometimes if it's multiple county owned properties or the length, just to make sure that we have the resources uh, dedicated that you may need, for example, police or our public works or fire, make sure. So it does take us a little bit of time to get that done. We can turn around things pretty quickly. Um, you know, we also understand the, the nature of and being nimble and not changes that occur as well as uh, if it's the difference between a commercial or an episodic um, or, you know, a photo shoot. We want to work within your timeline. So the more information, and I, I, I say this all the time, really, to share with us as much information as possible so that we um, can make sure and ensure that you get what you need. Thanks, Natasha. We actually have a question from a student. Um, as we know, student films um, often don't have a lot of financial resources. Um, is it affordable for students to film in Westchester County and especially on um, uh, county properties? We welcome students to film on uh, in Westchester County and certainly on the county properties within um, the realities of what we can do on our budget. Um, unfortunately, we don't have grants uh, able to support some of the films. So I encourage students to think about when scouting and looking at areas, things that are done during a work day um, and scale and um, props needed or you know, taking into consideration. When it comes to the permit, it is um, as long as we have your valid student ID um, with us, it is, you know, not an enormous fee at all whatsoever. I think it's nominal and, and, and I can follow up with any student. I wanna say it's like a $25 processing fee, 25 or um, processing fee. We've also worked with schools. Uh, you know, I mentioned Pace has 
a very robust film uh, program in uh, NYU or some of the other folks that if there is a bigger project, we can work with the school to ensure that the students get what they need. And it's shot here in Westchester. It's a, it's a great opportunity to showcase Westchester. Great. Thanks, Natasha. We have uh, time for one more question. Uh, you mentioned and showed some really great photographs of all the, uh, so many, a few actually, there's so many actually, uh, beautiful uh, towns and villages and cities in Westchester County. Uh, is your office a resource uh, for filmmakers uh, to find the rules and regulations for the various towns and villages? Does your office keep an up-to-date uh, listing of, of, of those rules and regs? We do, and that's also on our website, and it's under the permits tab. You can search by area of the county or the town, the city, um, and of course, we're always available to answer any of your questions, but in that you will have a resource guide by those different municipalities, their rules that as up-to-date as we're given, but you'll have a contact, a phone number, um, what their fees may be, as well as um, the name and email for someone to reach out to. Fantastic. That's such a terrific um, resource for filmmakers. Well, I'm sorry to say that this has, we have concluded this wonderful tour of Westchester County. Natasha, thank you so much. Thank you so much to your team for joining us today. Thank you to all the attendees. Uh, we hope you found uh, this, uh, this virtual FAM tour as fun and, and exciting as I did. I love Westchester County. As you know, I am a resident of Westchester County, uh, and it is really just such a terrific place to film. So thank you all so much for joining us, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Have a great day.